if they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. But if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence, and he should never speak about it. Yeah. Like, basically, it was like the big quote, yeah. It's like, all right, like, you, people can't critically admit, like, okay, there's maybe some, some, what was it? No, the yeah, there's yeah. maybe some shit going on with, like, uh, Shit, I'm trying to phrase this the most politically correct way possible because I'm on, my, I'm, on, I'm on the edge now, too. I'm trying to say, basically, the you, you can critique Jewish communities for doing fucked up shit like any other community does fucked up shit without it being, you know, anti-Semitic. Basically. It's uh, like, you well, refrain from doing that. I'll just put the clip in while we... Uh, yeah. But right. I, I know what you're talking about, and it's fine. Um, but he... You said what he said, right? Like... I paraphrase the quote of yeah when, oh, when black people do something fucked up it's a gang it's a gang when I got Italians it. do it it's a yeah. mob you said when when Jewish people do it it's a coincidence yeah it's you know a coincidence I mean? yeah. and it's we should never talk about it yeah. and this is the problem not that it's a coincidence and we should never talk about it it's this over care and this over like protection sensitivity yeah makes it to the common thought person like oh well if you're reacting this way to them and nobody else, yeah. something has to be up. And it's like, no, they're just trying too hard. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like the around the time when, like, I, I want to say peak LGBTQ era, where it was like, oh, fuck. Like, you really got to be careful. Like, so mm -hmm. it's just. It's which, just like a double standard that, I mean, other, like, like black, when people talk, for example, like, if they, they talk about black on black crime on, like, Fox News, mm -hmm. but if they talk, like, about, like, Jewish, any anything, like, Jewish related in the media, that would be instantly anti-Semitic. But you talk about black and black crime, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just talking about the facts of the matter. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know. And listen, if we want to keep it funky, let's keep it funky, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, we live in New York. And that was a conversation because a lot of people yeah. in New York were sharing the same sentiment. It was like, hey, what y'all are saying is a perpetuated stereotype in New York, specifically in Brooklyn, is not. Like, yeah. and while people don't like it, I will go on his legend say it because the way that, and I will only say it because of the specific reason. The way they treated black people during that pandemic was disgusting. Jumping, um, not jumping, beating up four people sitting outside was crazy. For, it's like social distancing. And then right after, well, not right after, but not too long in the summer, mm -hmm. the, um, I don't remember which group of Jewish people it was, but yeah, it was on the news. Their own, yeah, when they, they cut the park open and then they had a funeral. Twice and it was like, hey, yo, don't do that. And then they did it again. And it in was Brooklyn, like, they, yeah. So it's like, and they threw crazy. They had a crazy riots too. Jew oh, wow. The Jewish people threw fucking crazy riots. They were like burning cop cars. I didn't. They know. They had that. riots, bro. That went under they the flipped radar. over. No, it was like a big thing really? in New York. This is oh, a peak shit. pandemic because they uh they stopped Jewish people from having their uh their they had like a holiday event thing. Uh, you know? Oh, they had their indoor like temple things going on, and they. The city canceled, stopped that because of COVID. Okay. And they, they rioted did. the streets because of it. Like, that was going crazy, yeah. See? So it's like, to people in New York, unfortunately, they share that sentiment, but it's hard when to argue when it's, like, on the news, they could just blatantly cut a park open, like, I don't care, or yeah. do what they feel like doing. It's like, all right. So yeah. I, I don't know. Double um, standard is like, it doesn't, you know. There's a double standard with race, ethnicity, and social hierarchy in any capacity. Yeah, so it's nuts. I just think, like I said, the overall is that the media is over pushing this narrative and it is making Jewish people look bad. And I think they do from what I'm hearing is that they share the same sentiment. Like y'all are pushing this way harder than it needs to be. It's just one person. Like, chill. And I think the list is what really got it over the edge where it was like, all right, like a list, like you need this motherfucker doing Finding the six Dragon Balls next, like yeah. chill the fuck out. So yeah. you got blown out of proportion. If I'm Kyrie, I do that list. I come back, my first press interview. I blow the roof off on Joe side. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, it's crazy how he has morals all of a sudden when he was uh, supporting a genocide in China or uh, wherever it was. Let's chill with that. I don't know how true that is. It's I was looking like into on the that. New York Times. I don't know. I was still looking into that. I'm being petty if I'm Kyrie. That that claim seems a little shaky. Uh, allegedly. Cause I was I was literally gonna go off before yeah, I, it was crazy. Cause before I got here, I'm like I'm about to go off on Joe's side too, and I'm like mm -hmm. wait, let me 
fact check this a little bit, and I'm like, eh. if you're Kyrie, you don't got fact check. Don't worry about it. You didn't fact I mean, check. That's, that's how we got the switch in the first. But I'm just saying, nigga, I'm gonna be a little petty. Like, I'm like, oh, he has morals all of a sudden, huh? Like, yeah, yeah. Because it does. Yeah, the the thing was that his. I think he's invested in Alibaba, and Alibaba is funding the Uyghur genocide. I don't know yeah. how true that is, but it don't matter if you Kyrie. For us, that's different. Kyrie. Well, but damn, I want to go yeah. to the Barclays game. But I don't know. Basically, it's crazy because just to, just to put a bun, not to put a bun on it, I don't yeah. have anything else to nah, say. But to else. summarize the whole thing, basically, is they're making an example out of they're making an example out of Kyrie, but because of his history, but they're making it, they're masking it with anti-Semitism. So it makes mm-hmm. so basically they're trying to make Kyrie look like the biggest villain of all time because he's anti-Semitic. Which is like, no, no, it's because of his... You're just putting an example out of him out of his history. But it looks like the punishment is just because he says anti-Semitic statements. What's crazy about it is the fact that they was like... Like you said earlier, both of them was like, oh, he doesn't have that in him. Like, he's not anti-Semitic. He's not anti-Semitic. They literally said it. Yeah, like... What are you doing? He apologized. Joe Sy is an idiot owner, though. But let's keep that a buck. Because Kyrie should have been cut a long time ago. The minute that nigga said, I'm not coming to work, just randomly, I would have like, you know what? Eat a dick, nigga. Yeah, so true. it's just you trying to get your power back because probably the entire organization looks at Joe Sy like he a pussy. That like, team's a mess, yeah. It just, oh my god, whatever. Uh, Nets tickets are twenty dollars though, so I guess there's a silver lining. Some games, yeah, they're mm-hmm. they're a mess right now. So. so maybe we'll get free. Uh, KD's balling out of control though. Yeah. KD don't give a fuck, bro. He's he's a true hooper. Yeah, he's made that clear. <laughs> he just want to like, ball. Like, he just wants to ball. I ain't gonna want to do nothing. He don't want to get a wife. He don't want a lotion. I think he just want to hoop. And I respect that I determination of for no bitches, bro. It's, it's crazy. You ain't never seen that nigga get caught with no woman. Yeah, he did. When? Caught with, uh, what's that porn star's name? Oh, Lit, then. That's good. What's, that, what's her name? I don't know. The, the, one, that was with that, the one was with that uh, Barstool. Not Barstool. One of those podcast dudes. She got pregnant. I don't know, nigga. White girl, whatever. 